Welcome to Nature's Factory Products. In this video, we'd like to provide you with a few key points about the potential aloe vera has shown as an alternative and or complementary therapy in addressing irritable bowel disease such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. Nature's Factory Products encourages you to speak with your doctor before considering any changes to your therapy regimen and will provide some additional online resources for further independent investigation at the end of this short video. IBD, or inflammatory bowel disease, is a group of inflammatory conditions of the colon and small intestine. The two major types of IBD are Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. The following are a few ways taking aloe vera may benefit sufferers of IBD. The first is as a cleansing agent. Aloe vera has long been known for its laxative-like properties. By helping support the digestive functions, you help the body detoxify, thus promoting better general health. Then is an anti-inflammatory. Aloe contains natural plant steroids and a variety of powerful antioxidants that fight free radicals which have an oxidative or damaging effect on the body. As inflammation is a hallmark of IBD, repairing and soothing an inflamed bowel can reduce pain and help the digestive system function properly. Then it boosts nutrition. People who suffer from IBD can become malnourished, either because they are afraid to eat and bring on symptoms, or because their digestive systems can't properly absorb nutrients from food. By detoxifying, soothing, and reducing the inflammation in the colon, it can better take in nutrients. Second, aloe contains over 75 vitamins, minerals, enzymes, amino acids, and micronutrients that nourish the body, provide sustained energy, and improve immune function. So there you have it. We hope that this has been helpful to you. In closing, we encourage you to visit the following independent information sources to do your own proactive research on aloe vera and any natural supplement you're considering as alternative or complementary to your current health regimen. The first is the National Center for Complementary and Alternative Medicine. Part of the National Institute of Health, NCAM focuses on how natural herbs and plants long used in folk medicine can be used to complement traditional medicine. To learn more about NCAM, visit www.nccam.nih.gov. Clinicaltrials.gov offers up-to-date information for locating federally and privately supported clinical trials for a wide range of diseases and conditions. You can find information on a variety of trials that study the effects of natural supplements on health. Then the Natural News Network. This is a nonprofit collection of public education websites covering topics that empower individuals to make positive changes in their health, environmental sensitivity, consumer choices, and informed skepticism. Visit their website at www.naturalnews.com. And of course, we always invite you to stop by Nature's Factory Products website at www.naturesfactoryproducts.com. Thank you for watching.